perfect moment to appreciate. My outfit is really cute today. Look at this, wait, okay. Look. My shirt matches my head scarves. I'm just really happy with it today. <laughs> to see more if I would make them so I figured let's go and today's video is going to be about perfection and more specifically why you should not strive for perfection. I feel like in today's world of social media, of the internet information age where you're exposed to so many different medias constantly. It feels like sometimes we're constantly bombarded with all of these images of things that we are told that perfection is. And it can be really damaging to our perception, to our self-confidence, to our self-worth, if we are constantly striving to be this elusive perfect. So today I'm just going to be talking very informally, very unscripted. I probably should have scripted this, but I think it will be better if I just go and then I'll edit out any little blubs that I make. So yeah, I'm really excited and this is something that I am really passionate about because I've struggled with, you know, wanting to be perfect, wanting everything to be just so. Um, whether that's with schooling or with even things like YouTube or performing or all sorts. I've struggled with this my whole life and it's only within the last sort of year, six months or so that I've begun to really come into my own and just accept a bit more the kind of imperfections of life. <laughs> I thought that hopefully it would be helpful to some of you if I would share this experience. So let's go! So first of all I'm going to talk about school or university or sixth form or education. We'll, we'll call this section education, okay? And we are going to be talking about what is the perfect student? In every TV series, in every book series that centers around an educational environment, there is always the perfect student. I feel like she's usually a girl. She's usually very, you know, top button done up, very, um, you know, sweet. Think Betty from Riverdale. Like, pink jumpers, high-waisted jeans, straight A, ponytail, really sweet. And I feel like a lot of, I'm just going to be talking about girls because that's the experience I have, a lot of girls feel that they have to be the perfect student. This is something that I felt all the way through all of my schooling. I had to be the perfect student, I had to get all A's, I had to be in the top set of every subject, I had to, you know, be constantly praised by the teachers, I had to constantly be told you're doing really well, you're a really good student, blah, 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 blah. And it's exhausting. And what was also exhausting for me is that I felt like it had to look effortless. This perfection couldn't look like it took effort. It had to just come naturally. And I feel like that's partly the influence of um, like media and stuff or just things that my own brain came up with and told me that I needed to be. And it was exhausting because first of all, school, especially high school, where you have to take a lot of subjects that you're probably not really, like, 
kind of intuitively inclined to be very good at, it's exhausting. Like, maths, for me, Jesus Christ, I struggled so much with maths and it was partially because of experiences with different teachers um, and partly, you know, that it's, I struggled with maths a lot more than I struggled with, say, English. I'm very good at English. I take English now at university and it's always something that's come a lot more naturally to me and maths, because I struggled, I in, kind of got this very fearful response to it and so it wasn't even necessarily that I was bad at maths, it was that I thought I was bad at maths and I would punish myself for it constantly mentally. I'd tell myself that I was incredibly stupid, I'd tell myself that, you know, I was just an idiot and that I just couldn't pick it up and I would berate myself constantly for not being perfect and it took so much tutoring from my dad, I eventually ended up getting a B but, you know, there are some people that unfortunately will never get a B in certain subjects. They'll never get a C. But they won't get it. It just doesn't go into their head. And there's nothing wrong with that because humans are not robots. I feel like this is what the schooling system forgets so often, is that humans, especially young humans, are not robots. We're not supposed to be good at everything. There are things that we are going to be inclined more towards. And, you know, if your passion is in an area that maybe you're not naturally as good at, that doesn't mean that I'm saying, you know, oh, you should just give up and focus on what you're naturally really good at. You know, people can become amazingly good at things that they're not naturally inclined towards with a lot of hard work and dedication. But whether you're striving for something that you're kind of predisposed towards or striving for something that you're maybe going to have to work a lot more at, going for perfect is never, ever, ever going to be useful to you because all you're going to be then seeing is your failures. What you need to do is focus on goals, getting better at something, getting, you know, oh, I got a uh, 25 out of 40 in that last test. I'm gonna go through, see what I did, and I'm gonna aim to get 30 or 35. And that's, I think, the way to do it, is to mark your progress and mark how far you've come, because I find that way more helpful than just being like, oh, I didn't get 100%, I'm obviously like useless and a stupid child. This, it's just so unhelpful and if your parents are, you know, I know a lot of pressure in school can come from parents, whether they're actively pressuring you or just you feel, you feel pressure from them that's kind of made up a little bit by you, um, you just need to try and sit down and talk to them and be like, look, I'm going to try my best and I'm not going to promise you any more than that. I'm not going to promise you A's. I'm not going to promise you these unachievable things. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to be perfect. I'm going to promise to work hard and try my best. And you need to make that promise to yourself as well. You don't want to strive for perfect. You just want to strive to do your best. And that will make your school like experience a lot, lot easier. And also, please, 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 please ask for help if you need it. Help can be found in so many places, whether it's asking for help from another student who's maybe better at the thing than you, whether it's asking for help from a teacher if they're really lovely, or from your personal tutor who can put you in contact with someone. Just help is always going to be there and you do not have to be an effortless, perfect, it just comes naturally to me, A star student. You don't because that doesn't exist. I don't know anyone who got that, who didn't. Every single person I know who got like straight A's stressed constantly about it. And it's not just this innate thing that people have, it's something that they work for. So please just remember that. And yeah, just know that school is a time for growth. It's not you don't get into a subject and instantly become the best at it. Or maybe you do, but it's going to be very hard to stay that way. 
and you need to accept that there's going to be an ebb and flow of things, especially at school, where you're constantly learning so many new things, and you're learning them to be tested on them, which is horrible. Um, so just be kind to yourself in school, and know that everything is going to work out as long as you try your best. And if you try your best, then you deserve to be proud, no matter what the letter or number on a page you get is. If you tried and you know in your heart that you gave this the best shot that you could, then you deserve to feel proud of yourself for that.